2014, Eamon F. Morris designed an unbelievably hard working carry team, but he had three men up top doing the damage, and they did just that. <laughs> now, Peter Keane has a squad of grafters like every good modern side, but he has three boys let off the leash too. Against Clare, those three caused havoc with David Clifford and Sean O'Shea inside and Paddy Clifford on the 45, serving the two of them like a personal butler. With Dara Moynihan and Paul Ganey pulled out to the middle third, there was space left in the full forward line and there was a serious lineup of creativity to keep the supply coming through the foot all day. First of all, we really need to ban the traditional GA team sheet, or at least every match programme and TV lineup putting them in the old fashioned default formation every time. In reality, it looked a little more like this. Perugini had to do a bit more donkey work and Potty enjoying the run of the half forward line. But the basis was that Kerry had a strong engine room, a creative hub and a slaughterhouse. And because of the type of player they have, they were able to help move around the packed Clare defence with smart footballers or powerful athletes. And from there, their playmaker Potty Clifford was able to find pockets of space. Children should be taught the value of full forwards imagining a string tying them to the post, so they can only stray so far out the pitch, but they can move side to side as much as they want. David Clifford and Sean O'Shea were relentless with that movement, and Potty picked them out every time. Five times he had a successful kick pass to Sean O'Shea in the full forward line in a packed defence. What that does is it gives your most dangerous players the ball in the most dangerous areas, but it moves the defence back, it creates space. And Sean O'Shea is so aggressive on the ball as well. When he's not scoring one of the one four that he got from play, he's creating mass panic, creating more space. The key is doing it in the scoring zone. That's the only way you'll ever get anyone's attention, but you have to be disciplined. How often has a full forward like O'Shea just drifted out? He might get the ball alright, but it's so easy now for the defence to protect their scoring zone. The really bad teams will see both their full forwards drift out and no one on hand to stop them doing it. It happens at club level far too often without teams even realising they're doing it. The defensive team know alright and they push you back and back and back with no jeopardy for them in behind. Clifford and O'Shea are the perfect foils for Kerry. They win hard, dirty ball in the best areas and they're two of the best players in Ireland when they do win it. And with Kerry smart enough to work it to their half forward line instead of launching it from midfield to get it to their brave creative players who are willing to take the ball under pressure and willing to make a tight pass inside as well. Hey, when it's good players doing the right thing, it's not really that big a risk.